Type A blood might seem ordinary, but it holds secrets about human evolution, immunity, personality, and survival that are as strange as they are true. From ancient plagues to modern diets, this is what no one tells you about type A. Let's start at the very beginning, the incredible origin story of type A blood. Picture a world roughly 25,000 to 30,000 years ago when humanity was going through one of its greatest transformations. Until then, our ancestors had roamed the earth as hunters and gatherers, following migrating animals, picking wild fruits, and living in small, mobile groups. But slowly, in the regions we now call the Middle East and Europe, something changed. People began to settle down, build communities, and plant crops. This was the dawn of agriculture, a shift that transformed every part of human life. For the first time, humans were living side by side in large numbers, growing wheat, domesticating animals, and storing food. It was a revolution in how we survived, but it also came with huge risks. With settled life came overcrowding, poor sanitation, and a brand new threat, deadly infectious diseases spreading faster than ever before. In this environment, type A blood seems to have emerged as an evolutionary response. Scientists believe that as these first farmers faced new plagues, including viruses like smallpox that could rip through entire villages, those who carried the type A gene might have had a survival advantage, or at least a unique way of coping. We can't know every detail, but the evidence suggests that type A blood may have helped early humans adapt to crowded, disease-prone living conditions. It became part of their genetic toolkit, passed down generation after generation, as farming spread from the Middle East into Europe. The genes for type A blood traveled with those early migrants, crossing ancient river valleys and climbing rugged mountain passes, woven into the story of civilization itself. So while we often think of blood type as just a routine medical detail, type A is really a living trace of a time when humanity was struggling to survive in close quarters, battling waves of deadly disease, and building the foundations of modern society. It is a genetic echo of human resilience, born from one of the most dangerous and transformative eras in our history. But surviving those plagues and crowded settlements wasn't the end of the type A story. This blood type also reshaped our immune systems in curious ways, ways that still affect people today. Type A blood is linked to a more reactive immune system, which means the body is primed to fight off invaders more quickly. That might have been a great advantage when you were living in a village where a single infection could wipe out dozens of neighbors. Type A immune systems remember threats well. They develop what scientists call a strong immune memory allowing them to identify and attack familiar pathogens faster. But there's a downside to this built-in alarm system. Type A people tend to have higher levels of cortisol, the hormone that surges during stress, making their immune responses more aggressive. That heightened reactivity can lead to more inflammation, stronger allergic reactions, or even autoimmune problems, where the body attacks its own healthy tissues by mistake. Throughout history, these tendencies have shown up again and again. For example, type A blood was once linked to higher vulnerability to smallpox infections. And even today, some research has found that type A individuals may face more complications from illnesses like COVID-19. Their immune systems, always ready for battle, can sometimes go too far, creating what doctors call a cytokine storm, where the body's own defenses do more harm than good. It's a strange trade-off, being well defended against familiar germs, but occasionally paying the price with an over-the-top immune reaction. You might think of type A's immune system like a guard dog trained to protect the house at any cost. It's brave and loyal, but sometimes so fierce it might even bark at friends or turn on its owner. This complex immune profile is a reminder that evolution is always about balance, what helped protect ancient farmers in crowded villages may also cause modern type A people to struggle with stress and inflammation. It's a lesson carried in their blood, generation after generation, showing just how powerful and unpredictable human adaptation can be. Then there is the personality question, one of the most fascinating myths surrounding type A blood. In modern times, especially in countries like Japan and Korea, Type A has become linked to a certain personality stereotype. The cultural image is of the organized type, someone responsible, perfectionistic, meticulous, even a little anxious. People with type A blood are described as sensitive, loyal, and hardworking, 
always trying to keep life in order and avoid conflict. They're the type who remember deadlines, worry about details, and stay up late double-checking their plans. This stereotype has become so widespread that it even influences dating culture and job interviews in some countries. In Japan, magazines print blood type compatibility charts, telling you which blood types will make the best romantic match, or who will be a loyal friend. There are entire books and TV shows built around these personality profiles. But is there any science to back it up? Not really. There's no hard evidence showing that blood type truly determines personality traits. Most researchers agree that our personalities come from a mix of genetics, upbringing, culture, and environment, not just the type of blood flowing through our veins. Still, the type A myth is deeply rooted in culture and carries real meaning for many people. If you grow up hearing that type A means you should be calm, organized, and considerate, you might shape your behavior to match those expectations whether you realize it or not. It's a kind of self-fulfilling prophecy. You act type A because the world expects you to. So even though the science is thin, the story is powerful. Type A's reputation as the perfectionist's blood lives on, crossing from biology into folklore, showing just how easily humans blend science with myth, and how a simple letter on your blood card can become a symbol of identity, pride, or even stress. Let's keep going deeper because the story of type A blood gets even stranger when you start to look at what ends up on the dinner table. You see, a theory called the blood type diet, made popular in the late 20th century, claims that people with type A blood thrive on a mostly vegetarian diet. The logic goes like this. Since type A blood likely evolved during the early days of farming and settled agriculture, their digestive systems may be better suited to plant-based foods that their ancestors would have eaten. According to this diet theory, type A people have lower stomach acid than other blood types, making it harder to break down heavy meats or animal fats. Instead, their bodies may do best with vegetables, grains, tofu, legumes, and other plant foods that mirror what those first farmers had available thousands of years ago. Advocates of the blood type diet say type A folks might feel healthier, lighter, and less inflamed if they focus on these plant-forward meals. They suggest avoiding red meats, processed meats, and too much dairy, since these can be tough on type A's relatively gentle digestive environment. Instead of a steak, Think a hearty bowl of lentil soup. Instead of a cheeseburger, maybe a colorful stir-fry with tofu and greens. Supporters believe that this kind of diet helps type A people stay in balance, avoiding bloating, sluggishness, or even stress-related digestive problems. It paints a clear picture of what's good and bad for type A bodies, almost like a personalized nutrition code rooted in your blood type. But here's where it gets complicated. Nutrition scientists and doctors have repeatedly pointed out that there is no solid proof behind the blood type diet. While many people with type A blood might feel better on more plant-based meals, and there's nothing wrong with that, large-scale studies haven't confirmed that your blood type alone determines what diet you should follow. So, while the blood type diet might sound scientific, it really isn't universally accepted in the medical community. Still, there's something powerful about the story. People love the idea that their blood carries a secret blueprint for what they should eat. It feels deeply personal, almost ancestral, to think that your digestive system is hardwired by thousands of years of farming heritage. So, whether or not the science is perfect, the idea lives on. Giving type A folks a way to connect with their past every time they fill their plates with leafy greens and whole grains. And for many, that sense of connection is worth more than any scientific paper. Beyond diet, type A blood plays an enormous role in modern medicine, in ways that can truly mean the difference between life and death. Think about what happens during a car crash, a complicated surgery, or a natural disaster. Blood banks and hospitals rely on knowing your blood type to save your life. Type A blood can safely receive donations from both type A and type O blood types. That means people with type O, known as the universal donors, can help type A patients in emergencies. In turn, type A donors can give their blood to people with type A or type AB blood. This cross-matching is crucial because, if the wrong blood type is given, the body can launch a violent, deadly immune attack against the transfused blood cells. That's why you see those big letter labels, A, B, A, B, O, on every blood bag in a hospital. But type A's role in medicine doesn't stop at transfusions. It is equally important when it comes to organ transplants. Matching the donor's and the recipient's blood types helps doctors prevent organ rejection, one of the biggest threats after a transplant. If you get an organ with the wrong blood type, your immune system will see it as an invader and destroy it. Type A compatibility rules help save countless lives every year.
There are also some interesting observations from medical studies showing that type A individuals might have a slightly higher risk of developing blood clots under certain conditions, something doctors keep in mind during surgeries or long hospital stays. So, from emergency rooms to transplant units, type A is a key player in our shared safety net. Behind every routine check of a blood bag, behind every life-saving transfusion, there is a story of how type A blood is helping keep the modern world going, one patient at a time. And if that wasn't already enough to make type A fascinating, here come the truly bizarre theories, the ones that sound like they came straight from a sci-fi novel. You see, there is a fringe conspiracy theory that focuses on people with RH negative type A blood, a rare combination. In some corners of the internet, people claim that RH negative type A blood doesn't belong to Earth at all. These stories say that it might be a trace of alien DNA planted in the human race by ancient extraterrestrial visitors. Some of these believers even link RH negative type A to the idea of ancient astronauts, mysterious beings who might have visited Earth long ago and influenced human civilizations. They say RH negative type A is a kind of genetic fingerprint left behind by these otherworldly travelers, evidence of a hidden connection between humans and beings from the stars. Of course, scientists have found no evidence to support this. There is no alien DNA lurking in type A blood, and there is nothing supernatural about RH negative blood. It is simply a genetic variation that appeared through normal human evolution. But these theories show how easily our minds connect blood, ancestry, and mystery. Because blood feels so deeply personal, so vital, it naturally attracts myths, stories, and legends. Whether or not you believe in alien experiments, it is fascinating to see how something as simple as your blood type can inspire entire worlds of imagination and wonder. It shows how the story of type A blood is more than a chapter in a biology textbook. It is a thread woven through history, medicine, culture, and even the wildest corners of human creativity. So the next time you see the letter A on your blood type card, remember, it holds secrets of ancient plagues, powerful defenses, and stories that might be stranger than we'll ever know. Are you type A? Share your thoughts in the comments. Like this video if you learned something new. And don't forget to subscribe for more mind-blowing facts about the human body.